Christmas this year, my wife and I decided to visit the wonderful island of Puerto Rico. We are staying right now in Ocean Park, which is an upscale beachfront community in San Juan. So one thing to keep in mind, if you truly want to visit San Juan for more than just the beaches and the beachfront you know, communities, um, is that a rental car is really like highly recommended if you want to do anything outside of the city. And some of the best beaches are outside of San Juan too. The morning of our flight, we didn't have any time to eat. And so we ended up just finding a place like three blocks from here, sat down and had pizza. It was pretty good. Um, it's called Perillo's. The itinerary is in the description below. Puerto Rico does have an insane food culture. There's tons of local food to try, including mofongo, pastelillos, or even rice and beans as a side. The tourist stuff we did first, Old San Juan, we're talking the forts, stuff like that. And something that I immediately noticed is that the architecture in San Juan is amazing. Our biggest go-to place in terms of food though was definitely Ola's Oceanfront Bistro. I ended up eating salmon, um, but they also have a ton of Puerto Rican appetizers and food just in general. Really great menu, really great scenic views, and, and you get to sit outside by this pool. It's great. They also have a buffet, tons of options there. The restaurant ended our visit with an on-the-house coquito. Because it's Christmas time, this is like eggnog. They're basically just giving it to people at the end of their meal. Um, great stuff, by the way. It's better than any eggnog that I've ever had. It's technically not eggnog. It doesn't require egg. Coconut, condensed milk, rum, and cinnamon. And Puerto Rico is obviously home to the pina colada, so we had to try that. So today, Katie and I are hiking through the El Yunque National Forest. It is the only tropical rainforest in the United States. It's located within the Sierra de Luquillo Mountains, and it is the largest block of public land in Puerto Rico. The rainforest has some incredible historical significance. Uh, the Taino people considered the land sacred, and it's just a really incredible ecosystem. Personally, my favorite part of visiting was the natural pools. Get a picture if you want me to be under there. So here are some tips that I would give anyone really interested in visiting Puerto Rico. Uh, first off, bring bug spray because there are bugs everywhere. It's a tropical island that's not very surprising. And obviously, as I mentioned, bring a car. I, that's gonna help you a ton in place uh, in case of like need, you know, you need to go somewhere. If you are staying in San Juan exclusively, probably Uber will be just fine, but rental cars are definitely going to help you if you want to go anywhere else. And also just uh, learning the local language. Spanish and English are t uh, technically kind of go hand in hand, um, depending on where you are in the city. 
uh, whether it's San Juan or if you're um, just on the rest of the island is, is probably more Spanish oriented. Espe once you get further inland, it's definitely uh, the, the amount of, of people who know English goes down. The next tip really just to bring an umbrella or a poncho wherever you go because it rains all the time. And it's not, it's, it's not that it rains all the time, it rains pretty much every day. Um, we only had really one day where it was constantly raining, uh, but the rest of the rainstorms kind of came out of nowhere. Like it would say that it was clear all day and then all of a sudden it'd be raining. We were walking through the rainstorm d down in old San Juan and that was not enjoyable for us. So really just pack an umbrella or a poncho, you know, just wherever you go because it is going to be you're gonna have rain at some point it's inevitable so just just be prepared for that and then just a, a few quirks about puerto rico for one um they measure gas in liters the speed limit signs are in miles per hour and then they measure the highways in kilometers so they kind of go between the imperial system and the metric system and then drivers also honk all the time uh, like all the time um, and sometimes it's not it's not you know I'm used to a place where if you honk it's probably um, either you know your neighbor or you're mad at somebody but the streets are very narrow in Puerto Rico and so honking is used a lot of the time just to let somebody know that you're passing through if there are parked cars on the street but now it's time for Katie and I to head back to the airport. Trip is over. I Again, like I mentioned, you can find the full itinerary of what we did, where we went in the description below. And I will see you guys the next one.